installing a dog fence on an existing fence. Hi, I'm Bill Hennessy, and I'm here with my uh, brother, uh, Ron Hennessy, and uh, he has a problem with two of his dogs jumping on the fence and physically jumping over the fence. Maybe you could tell me a little bit more about your issue. Yeah, we, we installed a six foot perimeter fence uh, around the property about a year or two ago. And uh, we have a younger dog who's Great Dane German Shepherd and she's just a pup. And she has figured out how to clear the uh, six foot fence. So we, uh, in talking with Bill, we decided that we needed to uh, come up with a, another plausible idea to contain them. So uh, we decided that we were going to install an electrical fence uh, against the existing fence that we already have. So, so we're gonna try to, try to make this simpler than a regular underground fence. When you have a physical fence up, it's a very simple installation. It doesn't require burring any wire for the most part. Um, so basically the strategy we're gonna do here today is we're gonna attack the extreme dog fence wire to the physical fence and then create a perimeter and we'll be back to you folks after we do the uh, uh, show you the install and uh, we'll bring the dogs out and show you how quickly this will work and how easily this is to install. So we're actually going to start off um, at this point here you want to find the closest outlet or outdoor outlet to your fence part. So in this circumstance the distance from here where the transmitter is going to be installed is approximately 10 feet so we're actually going to start running the wire around then we're going to come back to this and we're going to install the transmitter and run the twisted wire from here to the perimeter the twisted wire is actually your neutral line so the dogs will be able to safely walk across back and forth right here so we're going to start right here because this is the closest point to the outlet and we're going to run this wire all the way around the perimeter of the fence it's good to have a helper. You can use a broom handle for the wire spool, the extreme dog fence wire, or you can just kind of set it up on something that will allow the spool to actually pull through. So we're going to start right here. Put the boundary wire in between the fence and the fence poles and pull it gently to get more wire to be ready for the next pole. Do this around the whole perimeter of your property until you reach the same place you started. Cut the boundary wire, leaving a couple of extra feet for slack. Staple the wire to the existing fence, making sure that you don't nick the wire as this will cause the system not to work. In all the areas where you need to install the boundary wire on the ground, make sure that you use ground staples to hold the wire or bury the wire at least three and a half inches deep. If you have to make any cuts to the wire, Peel both ends of the boundary wire, twist them together, being careful not to hurt yourself. Then install the nuts and finally put everything inside the waterproof splice to make sure you won't have any issues. Dig a little deeper around the driveway where the wire will cross, where the cars will be driving, and also make sure to use ground staples to hold the wire. Using all the necessary protection like gloves, masks, and goggles, cut and widen the expansion joint on your driveway using a concrete blade. Staple the boundary wire the same on the other side of the driveway and then cover the area making it nice and neat. Also, if you have a walking path, you may need to cut the area where the twisted wire will meet the transmitter. Gently push the wire down into the space you cut and apply a generous amount of caulking to cover and protect the wire. Do the same thing for your driveway. Lay the twisted wire from the transmitter out until it meets the loop you created around your fence and cut the excess. Unbox the extreme dog fence transmitter and using the provided screws, secure it inside the waterproof outdoor enclosure. Extra holes may need to be drilled depending on the enclosure you may use. Unscrew the two outside screws from the board, peel the ends of both sides of the twisted wire, and secure them to the board. Bring the transmitter power through the same bottom opening you used for the twisted wire and connect it to the transmitter. Use ground staples to secure the twisted wire. 
Peel the ends of the twisted wire and also of your boundary wire. Connect one side of the twisted wire to the beginning of your loop and the other side of it to the end of your boundary wire. Secure both ends with the provided plastic wire nuts and install the waterproof wire splices. Next, secure everything using staples. Proceed to cover the trench you dug in the location where you installed the twisted wire. Insert the provided battery inside the collar receiver and put the lid back on it with a screwdriver or a coin. Put the transmitter's cover back on and hold the collar receiver next to the transmitter to program it. Hold the two buttons for four seconds until the numbers start blinking, then choose one of the eight levels where one is the softest and eight is the highest correction and click set. Put the collar receiver around your dog's neck making sure it fits correctly, meaning that it is not too tight. You should be able to place two fingers between the collar and your dog's neck. Now it is time to begin training your dog. For any training or system questions, please contact our American-based customer support by calling us at 1-800-305-6116 or visit us at extremedogfence.com.